Welcome to the Hacienda Rivet here. Today we're going to make something delicious, a nice comfort food, uh, cavatapi with botarga. Now, um, what I want to demonstrate here is uh, in the wintertime, comfort foods do not have to be just macaroni and cheese or chili mac or, you know, they can be tasty delicious out of the ordinary something that you can put in a bowl and enjoy now you may be wondering what the heck is botarga well botarga is the dried fish roe uh, from codfish in this case I have um, Norwegian botarga this one is in a can that's already pre-graded and I have this um, whole row sack um, that is salted and dried and then you just grate it on a microplane uh, it's delicious um, I have heard chefs uh, call botarga uh, the prosciutto of the sea. Uh, prosciutto is to ham as what botarga would be to fish. It's very delicious. Simple ingredients here. We've got some butter, some anchovies, garlic, basil. Uh, so let's go ahead and get going. As you can see here, uh, this is very simple to do. The botarga grates beautifully into this fine powder and oh the smell is just gorgeous happiness from the sea Poseidon would be tickled to have a dish like this alright in a uh, pan over medium high heat we got a generous amount of olive oil and some butter um, this is Amish butter by the way that's why it's in a log and we're going to bring that uh, to heat now I've got my pasta water boiling over there and um, what I've done is uh, I've salted the water uh, with this seasoning salt uh, that you saw me make a video of uh, back when Wendy was here. It keeps very well in the fridge and I think it'll add a little bit of flavor uh, to the pasta but that's optional. You don't have to do that. Alright, thanks to the uh, miracle of time we're back in business. Uh, when I first started shooting this video, there was this gigantic rain and thunderstorm outside. I don't know if you could hear it, but the power went out. So, it's a little over an hour later. Uh, power's back on. Things are reheating. Let's go ahead and continue cooking. We got half a can of anchovies here. Um, we're going to fry them up in the mixture of oil and butter until they start dissolving along with the uh, red pepper flakes. Uh, that's going to give it a real nice flavor. Alright, so this is starting to smell really good and uh, one of the secrets here on, on my version of this is uh, I added the butter in there uh, and it's starting to brown in with the oil so it gives it a really luscious color and flavor um, and it smells really good. So here we have the uh, three uh, cloves of garlic sliced um, we're going to let them fry up there, uh, but we don't want them to brown. Okay, about 30 seconds later, uh, I've turned the heat off. Now to stop the cooking, we're going to add the juice of one lemon uh, in there. And it's going to stop the cooking. And what we're also going to do is we're going to add some pasta water. I don't know if you can out. Yeah, that's hot. I don't know if you can see that. We're gonna add. We added two of these of pasta water, and uh, we're that stopped the garlic from browning and cooking. And we're just gonna let it sit till the pasta's ready. All right, the pasta's about done. We've turned this back up to medium high. We're gonna add. Oh, that's about eight leaves of basil, and uh, now we're gonna add the um, cavatappi. Okay, I'm going to turn this down to medium and we're going to let the pasta finish cooking in this bath, bagna cauda, of deliciousness. So uh, join me then. Okay, so now it's been bathing um, for a couple minutes, everything's smelling nice. Now the botarga that you saw me grate earlier, um, we're going to mix that in and let's go ahead and plate it up. It's ready. Okay, so here we have a plate of steaming goodness, and oh my, it smells like deliciousness from the ocean. Um, the lemon and the salt tang and everything, but we're not done. Uh, now we got to put some of this pre, pre 
pre-graded um, botarga. Again, this is from uh, Norwegian cod, and it comes in a little bag, very nice. And we're going to garnish the uh, cavatapi with botarga. And you can be as generous or not uh, with this as you want. Uh, I love botarga, so uh, that's going to be good. Let's taste it. Okay, so let's give it a try. This is very pretty. I like the, the green from the basil, and I, I love the shape of kawatapi. It's just nice. Mmm. It's hot. Mmm. That lemon juice really shines through. Um, bays everything in that delicious acidity and counterbalances the um, saltiness of the roe because the botarga is salted and dried. So let's go ahead and try a piece here with garlic. Mmm. This pasta is a mouthful. It's really good. Um, I think it could use a little bit more red pepper flakes. I'd call this medium. I like a little kick to it, but it's good. Um, the basil, perfect. Uh, ideally, this would be served in a bowl. Eat it with a spoon. Typical Italian comfort food. Thanks for watching, people. Bye-bye.